hello, Fox fans. Buju, and welcome to the third episode of Berrycraft. Once again, I let you down and lost some valuable footage that I wanted to show you. And I was pretty upset. And I had a hard time deciding what to do next. I've gotten a lot done on the server, but it has been sort of aimless for the last few days. Basically, Donut Pixel and I went and took on the evil berry-eating Ender Dragon and triumphed. Donut even has the dragon egg to prove it. But somehow, all I have left is the audio of that fight. Apparently, I can get video or audio, but not both together. I'm cursed. So, I have some other things to show you, but just, just not nearly as adventurous as taking on a dragon. Everything seems a little anticlimactic after that. Oh, of course, I have wings and shulkers now, courtesy of some end raiding with Donut, as well as another raid I went on with Blue during one of his live streams. So, what else has happened? Uh, it was decided that our little teepee shop was not zoned for the residential district, and we had to move our shop over to the official shopping center. Thanks so much for your friendly citation, Neo Officer Uptight Blue. I decided that our TP was just too small, so I enlarged it just a tad. What do you think? It's a little bit bigger. The TP seemed to fit better on the other side of this little creek basin, and I decided to put a bridge across it. But not just any bridge. The portal from spawn is just a little too far from the shopping area, so I decided to add a portal to the bridge I was constructing, and I came up with something a little unusual. I've also been working on a way to make time-lapse videos, and so here goes with a little something new on this channel.
So there it is. Finished bridge slash portal. It's also a great launch pad if you have trouble flying with Elytra. <laughs> so we have a strange new addition to the center of town. Or center of shopping, I guess. So I also connected the portals in the nether and created a new one. But um, the nether is very janky, I have to warn you. And somewhat dangerous. Yes. So, uh oh, okay. So anyway, yeah, this is the portal to shopping. This over here is the portal to spawn. Complete with berries, of course. What else? Um, let me show you spawn a little bit. Not much has changed. We did win our build competition, which uh, was announced on Twitter, but that's it. And Blue is in his secret base, which he conveniently has placed under our house. I don't know. I, I think he, I think he just really likes our build. Wants to live here and as close as he could get, <laughs> but you can hear him fishing down there. He's not far. Um, so yes, we won the build competition and, um, Senzaki was unable to vote for a while because every time he tried to load in at spawn here, it would crash the game. So so, yeah, um, everybody kind of forgot to really do anything except for the Twitter announcement for the, <laughs> for the build competition. I was expecting a party or, you know, some kind of awesomeness, but so I was a little jealous of Blue and Pix's very cool underground base which I can't get to anymore because Blue has finally fixed his janky entrance so that it is much more difficult to get into. And it is a very dangerous prospect trying to um, break in to see what's going to happen or what, how, how to get down there because uh, Blue's ire is very, very strong if you try to break in. So yeah, right now there's only a way up, it looks like. If, uh, if Blue really wants you to know how to get in, he'll tell you. But yes, okay, so I was jealous of their weirdly placed secret entrance, or secret base, and so I had to do the same thing. So I made this, and it creates a little tunnel downwards, and then there's a lot of redstone here. Now, my original creation didn't have all of these comparators here um, with a clock on it. So I would just have to, like uh, like on my Let's Play, just go and, and dig my um, my stuff out of the, the hopper. But now you don't have to retrieve your item unless you really want to. Thanks to Blue, he came and, and just um, blue stoned things for me. And then down here is still very janky. There is no decorations yet. I think mostly I just wanted to have a secret layer, but I don't really need one. <laughs> So, <laughs> so yeah. Oh, and then to get back out again, push the button, and the timer starts, lets you out, and then closes up behind you. Yes. So, um, so I wish I could take credit for all that redstone, but the uh, the timer, that was blue. Let's see, what else have we got here? I have. Ready for oh. I have a new, I do have a secret base. <laughs> I'll take you there now. Okay, so there's shopping. That goes to the Crusaders, I think. Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, this, this area is still very, very dangerous. We really need to get started on another hub, but um, everybody's been pretty busy. So um, I'd like to start working on it soon. Are you going to, are you going to? Hmm? Hmm? No? What? Come on. Hit me. <laughs> okay, that was shockingly easy. <laughs> Very fun. Okay. So, anyway. Um, oh, yeah. Neo Industries is straight that way. And then we have my bridge, which is the least janky out of everybody's now. 
although it used to be a little bit precarious. I have since improved it a little bit. Oops. Wow, I'm so bad at those guys. Okay, and then Amazingly Fearless is down this way. And then this is the portal to the feminine faction. Okay, now not much has happened here. We widened this a little bit, but a lot still needs to happen. And I think that I would rather do it with a beacon. So before we widen that any further, or before I widen it any further, I'd like to go and kill the wither. This way is our raid farm. And then in the opposite direction is a new secret base area, which I will take you to. But um, I created a, a little fox burrow to get there. And here we have our drowned farm, which is now working after being broken several times. The only thing is, is that there's not enough inertia here at this uh, level of water. So I think I'm going to have to um, speed them up just a little bit. Right now, if you stand here, the zombies will spawn and then move up into the column. And then they'll get stuck over here in some cobwebs, just like in my Let's Play, and um, and convert into Drowned. And we now have quite the collection of, let's see, all of this has been blocked up, sorry. Oh, hello, how did you get out? What is happening? Ooh, I almost died. That's a lot of levels to lose. Did you? Oh, he's probably just spawned there. It's kind of dark, isn't it? Yeah, he shouldn't be able to get out. Just too dark. Do I have any blocks? No. I'll have to come and fix that later. Well, anyway, so can we see them? No. There we go. Hello, guys. You look like you're cooking nicely. Okay. So yes, that's how that works. And then um, I'm probably going to get rid of this eventually. It's just uh, I had a lot of trouble getting it running the first time. But this is the uh, mine shaft that Donut and I found and cleared out. And it also happens to be a very, very slimy chunk loaded area here. <laughs> So I've gotten a lot of slimes. And then, um, so yeah, there's one farm and just some random setup stuff over here since this is kind of where our XP area is now. And then over here, there's a portal that I'm going to connect soon. We have our double spider spawner. And this is not really, I just needed a lot of string and XP. So um, I'm not done decorating this and also uh, creating, I'm going to create a more efficient uh, killing system. But yeah, we got quite a lot of string. And so this one is a cave spider and this one is a regular spider. So I had to do it too wide because even though the cave spiders can get through the smaller ways, the larger ones can't. And then I also have this extra sword here um, that we can use. Anybody can use. Itsy Bitsy Foxy is my Bane of Arthropods, Looting 3, Fire Aspect, Mending, Knockback. Knockback's not necessary. It's just one of those swords where you were trying to get one thing and you ended up with a whole bunch of other things, which is great. But, um, but yeah, this is the sword that I use for killing these guys quickly for now. Once I get like some kind of softener system in, then it will be fine. And I also want to fix this so it's a little bit better um, at um, pushing them forward, or at least maybe moving this forward so 
don't have to wait so far. But yeah, it's a really great XP farm since it it has um, double the spawns and uh, they're both lit from here, you can tell. So yes, that is everything, I think. Obviously, uh, I've been more concerned with farming again, uh, or creating farms, than I have with decorating, which I'm a little ashamed of. So I think, um, unless I do the wither battle soon, there's going to be a lot of decorating coming up. And I can't think of anything. Have I missed anything? I hope that's, I hope that's it. So I'm just going to leave you guys here. And hopefully we'll be back with some really great berry craft collabs again soon. Apichigo Miigwech, thank you so much for watching. I am so glad you stopped by and visited BerryCraft with us. And I hope we will see you again next time. If you like this video, please leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then subscribe for more content from me, Foxy. Plus, don't forget to visit the other berries here on BerryCraft. Their channels are in the description below. Giga Wabamin Minawa, which means see you again. Get creative. And most of all, have fun. Bye!